Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Now, if you have been uh, following along, you know I am a gambler, right? And uh, I have a particular issue with chasing my losses. M little bit of losses, right? So, before I continue, I have to reiterate, and this is in every video description. Disclaimer, all the videos and comments that I put on YouTube is for entertainment purposes only and for no other reason, guys. No other reason. Don't even make it about anything besides just something for you to watch and hopefully you'll be entertained. If you're not entertained, try again tomorrow. What can I do? All right, so now, what was I saying? Yes, I uh, am a gambler, been gambling my whole entire adult life, resulting in a lot of losses because of my stupid chasing, right? I've been chasing for ever and ever, right? I've been chasing so much that uh, I ended up betting a huge ton of money, you know, a lot more than I really should for a person of my standing. I'm a regular working man, like a regular, right? Common, every day. Right? I ain't no millionaire, I ain't no trillionaire, billionaire, nothing like that. Ain't no trust fund, ain't no stock dividend, ain't no nothing. Right? So to be gambling the amounts and the, uh, you know, that I have been doing in my life is uh, dangerous. And now that I live here in Las Vegas, you know, I am faced with the reality. Change my race or end up homeless in a tunnel with markers outstanding and uh, that I do not want to do So I uh, just want to show you I have over here My high level gambling cards, which is the result of many a tier matches and gambling in the year 2023 Here is the fountain blue fountain blue Fountain blue rewards royal level Here we have Rin, black, right? This comes with a free cruise. I, I'm gonna, you know, book it. It's a Holland America cruise. I can't wait, guys. Cruise videos. Yes, cruise videos in my usual channel. This is just a channel for nonsense, all right? My miscellaneous nonsense. You know, I'm not serious about this channel at all. Okay. Here we go. Diamond Elite. The second highest card they got at Caesars. MGM Platinum, right? I believe this is the second highest. The highest would be Nor. Or maybe this is even more higher. Who knows these things, right? And finally, Cosmopolitan, uh, Cosmopolitan Platinum, Identity Platinum. Off which, every single day if I want to, I can get half off at the Wicked Spoon Buffet. It's still going to be like 30 bucks or whatever. Still, it's half off or buy one, get one free. Terrific. Every day, guys. Priority line. Right? Now, there's been comments below. Then in the medic, you know, you're not gambling the levels that you used to. You're going to lose all your comp. You're going to lose all your offers. So I don't care, guys. I've lost so much money doing the stupid chasing that uh, I could have bought everything and be up ahead by so much. If I just pay... If I just didn't gamble and I paid cash for everything I received, I would be up so much more. Like, like come on, 300 grand, guys. You know, it's like, I, I haven't done the math, but yeah. So anyway, now I'm going to try to change my race, right? Now, what, like, if you've been following me along and paying attention, you would already know this, but I'm just going to reiterate. I go to casino. I lose a little bit. I end up wanting to win it back. Then I bet more. Then I want to win it back. Then I bet more. Then I want to win it back. You know, and that's how I end up losing everything. Right? Going to the AT, I'm going to get markers, you know, all that stuff. Ain't no good, guys. Right? So lately, I, I, I figured out a way that I'm gonna try, guys. Who knows if this is gonna work? I don't know. You don't know. It may not be published anywhere, but I am just thinking that if I train myself to not chase the money, then I can live here in Las Vegas like a normal person, right? 
you know, because if I if I keep chasing, say goodbye to my whole entire financial life, right? You know, and nowadays you need money. I don't live in the wilderness where there's no money. You know, I live in society. I need the money. If I lose it all, I'm going to be screwed, right? So, uh, my last episode went to the El Cortez, right? And I bet a dollar in the video poker machine. Played it, lost it, left. And boy, guys, I felt the need to put another dollar, right? I, I, I felt it. It's that, fe- I can't describe the feeling, you know, but it's like, like not my mind wanting to do it, but my body wanting to do it. Uh, 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 guys, guys, I'm talking about gambling, you know? The body, I'm just sitting there, I feel tingling, you know? I can feel the, uh, my peripheral vision going away, and I'm focusing, like, on the area of the video poker screen. That's what's been happening, right? So, I'm, I'm going to give this a try. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just trying it for my own experience, right? The $1 loss repeatedly and, and with no external control. There are a lot of comments below. Danny, stay out of the casinos, stay out of the casinos, go get, leave Vegas, move to like, you know, Mormon country or whatever the heck. You know, no, that's not what I want. I don't want external control. Leave your wallet at home, don't bring anything. That's external control, right? I want to be able, you know, to chase the money, but then through the power of my determination, alone, say no and leave. That is what I'm trying to do. And repeat that again and again and again. Like I said, it may not work, right? So, now, today I'm heading down to the El Cortez where I have the lowest level playing card. They don't tear match, guys. But they do have an offer. If you fly into Vegas with JetBlue, they'll you bring your like uh, boarding pass or whatever. They'll give you some free play and maybe ice cream cone or something like that. Something trivial, but you get something at El Cortez. All right, so I'm gonna go to El Cortez with just three dollars, guys. I'm gonna leave my wallet and my ATM cards at home because I don't need it. I don't need it. I, I do not need it with me, right? Three dollars is all I need, right? One to put into the machine and lose. One to tip the drink lady. If she comes around and brings me a drink, I'll have a dollar for her or him. Some places got drink dudes. You know, but mostly it's drink ladies, right? And this is the chasing dollar, right? If I put this into the machine after I lose this one, then I have chased. If I leave with this dollar, then I did not chase. So I think having this three dollars is what's gonna be uh, what I need. Three dollars and my playing card, because God forbid, you know, if this dollar like end up lasting for hours, I can, you know, rack up a lot of points, you know, maybe get some more free play, which is not gambling by definition. All right, so I'm going to try something different. Now, I know that the El Cortez, right, allows filming with advanced permission. I've seen people filming table games, like they're very nice about that. But the guy I'm in touch with is out this week, and I told him I want to make videos. You know, he says I'm out. I'm out this week. You know, and, and then so uh, I, I guess I'm gonna go and record the session. I'm gonna play the two cent video poker. Two cents, guys. Two pennies, right? And I guess uh, times five would be a dime or something like that. I don't know. Whichever it happens to be, low, low level, so that I can get the juices flowing, right? There's been comments, Danny, you know, why don't you just put in the whole thing, play it once, win or lose, and then leave. See, that doesn't work, guys, because it won't, like, uh, draw me in to the game. I have to play for a little while, and then I end up losing, and that's when I feel like crap and I need to win the money back, right? So if I, like, I, I give away dollars, you know? Like, I gave one to, you know, the drink lady, here's a dollar, you know? 
If a dollar means that much to me, I wouldn't give it away. It's like a hundred dollar bill would mean a lot to me, and I would never, like currently in my financial situation, being a normal, common, everyday working man, give a hundred dollar bill to the drink lady for bringing me a Diet Coke. You know, there are people who do that. Billionaires out there who like don't value money, just like tossing it around, tossing it around, tossing it around, you know, disrespecting the value of the dollar. Some people call it extreme generosity. Whatever. But I see it's like, look, it's not necessary to give someone a hundred dollar bill to bring you a Diet Coke. You know? Like, look, if like someone's playing Baccarat and they just want a hundred grand and they wanna be a little generous, spread it around a little bit, that's fine. But to do it on the regular, you know, ah, I can't agree with that, you know, because I think if you tip double or triple of what a normal tip is, it's already expressing your generosity enough as it is already. But you do you. If you got the ability and the desire to give away $100 bills for Diet Coke, you know, but that, that's what you, you anyway. I'm losing my chain of thought. Just give me a second here. It's getting warm. I gotta hurry up. Mm. All right. So today I'm gonna to do something different. I yesterday I bought this here Insta three hundred and sixty camera. Never had an Insta360, this is the X3. They had a bunch already, and then the, the 4 is already out, so this stuff has been around for a while. Never looked into it as in uh, how it is, like uh, how it works, how to edit, how to do anything, I don't know. So today, I'm gonna bring this to El Cortez, and then just plop that down, you know, on the slot machine. And then I will lose my dollar. And then I'll see what video I can get out of this. If I mess it up and there is no footage, it's basically just video poker. You know, I, I lose a dollar. Right? Hopefully I don't chase. I got to psych myself up before going in. You need to really get into the mindset of not chasing the money. All right, so let's head on up. I'm going to finish this. Chef Boyardi. And then we'll head on over to El Cortez. If there's nothing between now and like uh, me talking again, then this thing failed or, or I failed to, you know, work this thing properly. All right. See you in a bit. Beef ravioli. Alright guys, so I have here my three dollars, right, one goes in the machine, one I leave here to tempt the drink lady, and then this one goes into my pocket, no chasing. Okay. Anyway, so it's gonna be uh, three hands, a uh, nickel a hand. We'll do this quickly. Here we go. There we go, guys. Gonna lose a dollar and we're gonna leave. All right, there we go. Come on, full house, baby. All right, we get what we can get. Almost a straight flush. Nope. There are queens. Alright, we're at 95 cents. Just the ace. One king. Pay of fours. Queen King. Queen King. 
Queen King suited? You know, I haven't gotten anything nice yet. Pair of threes. Come on, quad three, baby, quad three. Ooh. Ace Jack. Ooh, a flush with back at 80 cents. Just the ace, baby. Come on, four aces. Four aces, baby. Hmm. Pair of aces. Terrific. Maybe I'll get the uh, royal flush. No, no. Ooh, a regular flush. Oh man. If this would have been the eight. Oh man. Dude. Pair of queens. No. Keep this the, uh, these two over here. All right, this can actually last quite a long time. I would make one session point. 99 more session points and I'll get a free ice cream bar. All right, break even on that one. Pair of eights. All right. Nothing there. Two pairs. Come on, full houses, baby. Ah, 65 cents and still going. Nothing. Uh, Jack King. All right, pair of nines. All right, gain one on that one. Here are kings, here we go. Oh, three kings. Come on, four kings, four kings. Ah. Bear fives. All right, break even. Just the jack. Nothing there. Queen king. Man, that drink lady. Not coming by. I'm getting thirsty before this talking. There we go. Jack, Jack, baby, Jack, baby. All right, back to 50 cents. All right, here we go. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I am down to 20 cents. Come on. I need some flushes. I need some flushes, baby. Son of a bitch. No. All right. Now I'm thinking like this would keep the fun going. Only a nickel left. 25 cents left, guys. 75% done. Ace queen. Snow, snow, snow. 10 cents left. Now I gotta move it down to one hand. There we go. There go. Oh, pair twos. There we go. Oh boy. Last one, guys. Jack King. Come on. Four jacks, maybe four jacks. One jack. Okay. Still a nickel left. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Alright, come on. Four kings, baby. Four kings. Come on. I need it. I need it, baby. I need it, baby. I need it, baby. I need it, baby. Oh, they give me the jack and the queen. They're messing with your mind, man. They're messing with your mind. There's that king. Alright. Nothing. All right, 10 cents left. Come on, baby. Any club, any club, any club, baby. Any club, that son of a bull! Ah, oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, guys. Son of a, ah! Oh. All right, that's it. I'm out, I'm out. I'm putting the drink lady's tip back in my pocket. I made two session points. My card. Now let's get the heck out of here. Lost one dollar. Oh my god, what did I just do? Alright guys, so 
I came back and then I tried to figure out how to, you know, do this thing and all that. And I think I managed to uh, do a pretty decent job. As you saw, there was some uh, bubbly looking screen, right? And I guess it's because this is an extremely wide angle and it was really close. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wonder and figure and all that stuff. But anyway, so let's talk about how I felt. Today, I didn't feel too much of a need to put in the second dollar. I felt that I needed the drink lady to come by more than it, it, you know, it, uh, the need to put in the other dollar. I was getting thirsty, guys. I'm sitting there like, man, that drink lady, like, just, you know. Now, to be fair, it does say on some of the machines, you must be betting a minimum of 40 cents in order for the drink lady to comp you a drink. Who knows these things, guys? Uh, I have done, like, I, I've been there playing a nickel before, and the drink lady had came by, but uh, who knows? Maybe that was the low roller pit. All right, so as I was walking around the casino, I saw some viewers and uh, who came from the Netherlands. How nice, right? And then I walked around a little more, then I came back here. So yeah, I took quite a while trying to figure this out. And the uh, power is still on. I gotta turn this off before it went out of battery. Hope that means I turned it off. I'm not sure, guys, but this thing gets uh, pretty darn hot. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this Insta360 X3. It cost uh, $359, including spare battery, SD card that is 64 gig, that's a V30, and a very long selfie stick. Right now, I think I would need to buy the clip on a lens cover versus always using this here neoprene thing that looks like uh, you know looks like it's kind of hard to put on and off all the time you know what I mean yeah you know the little clip on screen I I'm gonna try to do that but the clip on screen doesn't protect this hair screen screen so maybe I'll just stick to this yeah it protects everything Maybe it'll loosen up over time and, you know, then it'll fit. All right. So, wow. Hmm. Not much of a need to chase. Hmm. Maybe next time I'll do $2 and see what happens. You know, maybe a dollar is not significant enough. Like, uh... You know, because I think I got used to it from the other time. Now it's just a dollar. It felt almost like just giving it away. You know how you give away a dollar? You don't have to chase it back. So maybe two or five dollars. Maybe uh, the next time I'll lose five dollars doing something. And then don't chase that. You know? Yeah, I don't know. The thing is, about this whole like experimental vlog thing, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is just a recording of uh, what I find, right? And uh, I do have more rings coming, right? These are defective, right? Uh, as I said in the previous video, they forgot to put the space between the words no and gambling. And... Uh, when I get the new rings, I'm going to consider just skipping gambling for one whole year. Or at least until the 305, you know, because um, some people have said it's pointless to do these exercises. You know, to what end are these exercises, you know, to... I, I have no idea, no idea, guys. But one thing I know for sure, the one thing that cannot happen again right, because I now live in Vegas, is that toe chasing and losing thousands upon thousands, that I will not permit to happen again to, my, to the best of my ability, you know, and it, ha it hasn't happened since, right, I haven't gone that deep or anything like that for quite a while, since 305, I, you know, I haven't, like, 
dug to the ATM. I haven't gone to the markers. I haven't done any of the really bad stuff I did in the past. So yeah. All right. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, yeah, my arm is going numb because of this chair. When my new chair comes in, I'll do a pointless chair video for this miscellaneous channel where I post nonsense. All right. Thanks for watching.